Tell me something, have you experienced pain? Well, of course you have because everybody experiences pain. And if you're a living, breathing human being, you are going to experience pain in one shape or form at some point in your life. And as far as I can gather, nobody likes pain. I mean, it's pain. Unless, of course, you have some strange fetish that causes you to enjoy it. But for the rest of us, pain is not enjoyable. And it is something that we try to avoid at all cost. But what if I told you that in many cases, pain could in fact be the very best thing for you? Extraordinary Living. Helping you transition from where you are to where God wants you to be. I know, I know, I know. You don't want to hear that pain can be of some value to you. Truth be told, I don't want to hear it. But it's the truth, and we need to know the truth. And the truth is that oftentimes we are not mindful of our true needs and we neglect the things that are critical for our success and survival, which is why pain will come along to alert us and make us aware of our greatest needs. Because the fact is, a lot of people won't address certain issues until they become an issue. For instance, some people won't pay attention to or invest in their health until they begin to experience pain. It won't be until they experience the pain of poor health, the discomfort of extra pounds, or God forbid the bad diagnosis for them to take the initiative to invest in their health or even visit a physician. Likewise, some people will not invest the time that they need in their relationships until they experience the pain of a relationship gone south. Whether it's from an emotional disconnect, lack of intimacy, infidelity, or whatever, it's not until they experience a sting of pain that they are motivated to invest time in their relationships. So I hope you can see the picture that I'm trying to paint here, which is that pain can cause you to recognize and prayerfully address areas in your life that need special attention. And this is not necessarily a bad thing, it's a good thing. Because I've heard story after story after story of individuals who've experienced pain in certain areas of their lives who then turn those areas around, and I mean all the way around. When you hear stories of people who are successful financially, many times they are the way they are because of some severe financial pain or tragedy they experienced in their past. Take for instance Dave Ramsey, the financial guru. He experienced the pain of financial ruin, which alerted him to his need to become financially savvy. Pain was the tool that alerted him of his need to become better. Now, I have friends who've experienced extreme trauma early on in their marriage, and the pain that they experienced was a trigger that caused them to recognize that they must invest deeply in the health of their marriage. And now they have a ministry in which they go around helping others restore their broken marriages. And pain was a tool that sparked their amazing ministry. But let me tell you, the greatest awareness that pain can bring to you is your desperate need for God. Now, I've been a Christian my entire life, but I didn't go deeper with God until I experienced pain. And my first deep experience with him was when I experienced the pain of failure in medical school, because it was then when the tears were flowing and when I was emotionally broken from disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, that I was able to see that the only way I was going to experience peace and joy was by drawing closer to him. Because just like the person who doesn't realize they need to make an appointment with a doctor until they experience pain, I didn't realize that there were things going on inside of me that needed the attention of the great physician. Which is why God has to allow pain in our lives. Because pain triggers our desire for healing and wholeness. And the only way we can be made whole is by having an encounter with the great physician. Which is why God will allow pain in our lives to alert us of our desperate need for him. So here's what I want you to do. The next time you experience pain, I want you to look at it differently and see what changes you can possibly make in your life to turn your pain around and turn it into a positive. Also, I don't want you to wait until pain comes around to alert you to your needs. Be proactive and do what you need to do today. So start investing in your health, investing in your relationships, investing in your career, investing in your purpose, investing in your finances, and above all, investing in your relationship with Christ right now. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and I hope it helps you. Listen, I put these videos out every Tuesday, so why don't you go ahead and not only subscribe, but hit the notification bell so that you won't miss another episode, and be sure to share this episode with a friend. 
And why don't you leave me a message below and let me know your thoughts on the value of pain. God bless and continue to be extraordinary through Christ. See you next time.